Okay guys, thanks for being on the studio channel. I know a lot of you have asked uh, to get a tour. Uh, so Andy, you've been very cool. Thanks for uh, being on the channel. Give me a, uh, whatever they call it, what, a nickel tour or the whatever? nickel tour, sure, yes. yeah. No Tell worries. me what you have here in this right. collection. So uh, here we have a 1950s open wheel sprint car, um, Willie's Jeep, uh, real military Jeep. Uh, this is a, a sprint car from the 60s. Uh, this car right here is a 65 convertible Cadillac convertible one owner car uh, all original except for one repaint this is a really nice car uh, the Daytona in front here so 1969 Dodge Daytona they only made about 500 of these cars uh, this car in particular won Pinehurst Concorde d'Elegance. It's a four-speed car. And what makes this car uh, so unique, it was signed by Ricky Brickhouse. Okay, so Ricky Brickhouse was the first Winston Cup driver to win a Winston Cup event in a wing car. So makes this uh, car even more special. Great color, by the uh, way. Plus too. rare color. I'm not sure production numbers, but limited production in this green color. I've never seen one in real life in green. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, 36 Hudson pickup truck. This is they awesome. only made about 3,300 of these between, I think, 36, 37, 38, 39. But yeah, this thing's pretty neat. Uh, three on the tree, uh, six cylinder. Great color again, too. Yeah, really neat car. 1962 Corvette, uh, factory dual quad car, which makes this car pretty unique. Um, very nice. Uh, beautiful red interior. I love the, you know, the coves on the sides. So beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, nine passenger limo. Oh my gosh, the collector, he's, uh, you know, he's a little eccentric. So, you know, he wanted to get this and this has a LS motor in it. So it's a super fast <laughs> limo. <laughs> All right. Nine passenger, pretty neat. Um, 59 Cadillac, it's a four door. Uh, he wanted to. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he wants to take this and and uh, wants to put a Hellcat motor in it, <laughs> customize it, you know, drop it down to the ground. Wow. So, uh, so yeah, so this is this. If that project gets off the ground, this will be a cool car. So, awesome. so we're in we're in talks with him right now about that. Ah. Uh, yeah, let's 2004 this. Corvette. This car is super special and super rare. So the story behind this 2004 Corvette was Chevrolet never made um, pace cars available to the public in 2004 like they did in some other years. Mm -hmm. So they only made six pace cars in 2004. It's three for the here. Daytona 500 and three for the Indianapolis 500. So this is car number one of three for the Daytona 500. Uh, there's only two left in existence. Uh, one has reportedly been destroyed for some reason I don't know. Right. Uh, but what makes this car so special is this is the only car that was signed by the Daytona 500 winner that year, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, wow. So car number one of two left in existence. I believe the other one is in Kentucky at the Corvette Museum. This car has about 400 miles on it. It is completely original the way it came from, uh, you know, from the Daytona 500. I love the lights. So yeah, and the lights work. <laughs> so this car actually paced the race. That is awesome. So yeah, uh, we have a uh, Cadillac XLRV. Um, 550 horsepower supercharged convertible. Uh, this is a neat car. We have a 1968 Ooh. 911S. It's my world. Uh, Sportomatic. So this car is pretty rare uh, because they only made uh, about 227 Sportomatics in 1968. So awesome that makes color. this a just fantastic. Color. Pretty rare, pretty rare car. So original colors, original, um, you know, uh, saddle interior. Uh, then we have this, you know, 2010 Super Sport Camaro. But what makes this car so special, it's a Hendrick edition. So in 2010, um, Mr. Hendrick, along with Chevrolet, uh, worked together, took, 
to create 35 Hendrick edition Camaros uh, for the marketplace. Wow. So of the 35 Hendrick edition uh, Camaros, this car is car number one. So this was the very first one that was produced. Uh, Mr. Hendrick gave it to Dale Earnhardt Jr. when he signed on with Hendrick Motorsports. Uh, has about 4,000 miles on it. He brought it from track to track. And if you look at the headrests in here, oh yeah, look. Dale Earnhardt Jr. signed this headrest. And then if you look on the other side, his sister uh, signed the other headrest and she heads up JR Motorsports. Oh, cool. So uh, supercharged LS motor, six speed manual transmission, really cool car. Car number one of only 35 produced. So pretty rare car. And then uh, we have a, Jeep Moab, a oh, cool. little bit of lift in it, and some nice remote steps. Oh yeah. You know, so so that's kind of neat. That's something we do at North American Motor Car. All right. uh, we actually installed the remote steps on this for him. Oh, you know what? I'd like to talk to you about this car. This is a pretty cool car. West Coast Customs? So yeah, so this is a... Uh, 2005 Chrysler 300 and it was customized by West Coast Customs out in California for the rock legend Alice Cooper. No kidding. Yeah, so uh, yeah, he's got enough screens in here. Jeez. Complete Roadster. There's no top to it. So you can only drive this car on nice days. Uh, set up with a serious stereo system. Uh, yeah. This car used to be a four door and they converted it to a two door. So you'll notice all shaved door handles. Uh, you, you can see the graphics in the paint, West Coast Customs all throughout. <laughs> so this is, <laughs> this is a pretty, pretty cool car. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Super Sport Nova. Yeah, this beautiful, is clean. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. Numbers match. Uh, 350 factory four speed car. Posi rear. Paint is really nice on this. Beautiful. This car has been fully restored. Oh, there you go. So uh, black interior. Uh, we had one of our Chevrolet uh, experts that we have confirm that this is a numbers matching Super Sport Nova. So all the numbers are correct on it. Beautiful car. Beautiful restoration. What's back there? Uh, 64 Corvette convertible. Nice. So small block Chevy, uh, four speed car. Black, black interior, black top, so triple black. Nice. 69 Mustang Fastback. I've never seen this color. Um, this is great. It's like a black cherry type yeah, color. Yeah, I kind of like the Porsche over there. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what the actual name of the color is. I have to do a little more research on that to be completely honest with you. But uh, neat car, 351 Mach 1. Mm. Uh, Bronco Sport. Those are super Love this popular. Car. Super popular, um, you know, beautiful custom interior, automatic transmission, uh, four wheel drive, just, you know, beautiful, beautiful car. Did a nice job on it. Torino? Uh, Torino convertible. They only Ooh. made about 1,600 of those uh, in 1970. So uh, to find a convertible, they're, they're gaining in popularity. Right. So uh, pretty rare to find a Torino GT convertible. Really nice car. Oh, uh, oh I think it is here. Uh, Datsun 200 SX. Yeah. <laughs> I like, like this. I say, uh, eclectic taste, you know. Very cool, nice but Yeah, rims. really, really nice, nice, nice little car. Uh, manual transmission. Uh, these are becoming more and more rare. Uh, 1970, uh, Hemi Cuda. And uh, I did some research on this car. So this is not a real Hemi car. Right. It is an actual real 446 pack car uh, when we ran our numbers, because that's another thing that we do in North American Motor Car. We, you know, we authenticate cars or we know people that can 
accurately authenticate cars uh, for the marketplace. So uh, this is, even though it has a, you know, 70 Hemi motor in it, it actually was born a, uh, a 446 pack car. That's awesome. So pretty, pretty neat. Super Sport Chevelle. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, special car. 2015 Shelby GT350. Uh, they only made a hundred of these cars. And of the hundred cars that they made, uh, they made 50 with a track pack edition and 50 with a technology package edition. So this car is car number 77 of the 100. And this is the only car in shadow black with royal blue stripes that was produced with a track pack. So this car is one of one. It only has 55 miles on it. It's never been registered. We have the original manufacturer's certificate of origin for the car. So whoever purchases this car, because this car is for sale, mm. uh, will be the very first owner of the car. Awesome. So very, very cool. Love this car. <laughs> I have to tell you my favorite car you have right now. Our truck? I love this. Our 56 this GMC? This thing is amazing. I love this thing. <laughs> it's, you get two for one. You can, right? I love this thing. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, this, uh, very special. We bought this out of Ray Everham's collection. Uh, you know, he moved to a new shop and uh, he was selling off a few of his cars from his collection. So uh, our guys, uh, we didn't want to transport it. So we actually drove uh, this truck up from North Carolina. Yep. And we had it loaded and oh, it did wow. a beautiful job. It's got a big block 454 in it, automatic transmission. So awesome. This is so cool. <laughs> um, this looks like it just came out of a barn. Yes. Yes. Uh, so uh, recently found six cars uh, that had been sitting for many, many years. Uh, so we were able, you know, to purchase those six cars for the collector who you know owns these cars and uh, yeah this is one of them so uh, I've done a little research on this particular car uh, numbers matching 427 tri power car so it's rare but it's not painted the original color the original color was green so uh, we're probably gonna restore this one bring it back to its original glory you know, because these cars should be, you know, as close to original, you know. Now everyone's making resto mods and everything, but, you know, this would be a great car to restore. Uh, Richard Petty has uh, Richard Petty's garage. Yeah. And uh, this is a prototype Challenger uh, 07, and they made it look like a Plymouth Superbird. Yeah, 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 like you're... So, like the other one right up there, so... Uh, Matching set, new versus old. <laughs> He's got some taste, your guy there. Uh, very special car right here. Uh, so 1969 GTO Judge convertible. They only made 108 GTO Judge convertibles in 1969. And of the 108, they only made 28 with an automatic transmission. So this car is one of 28. It is super clean. Under 400 here. Ram Air. Uh, beautiful wow. car. We have all the PHS documentation to authenticate the car as well. So real deal GTO judge convertible. This other judge, uh, 1970 GTO judge convertible. In 1970 they made 168 GTO judge convertibles and of the 168 uh, it's reported they only made two in triple black. But this car is actually a one of one car. And the reason why that is, is we have uh, the original dealer invoice for this car. Special story about this car. Uh, a Vietnam veteran uh, ordered this car specific on Valentine's Day, 1970. And when he came back from Vietnam, he was a double amputee. He had both his legs blown off in combat, but he really wanted a supercar. So it was between this car or a 1970 Supersport convertible big block Chevelle. And 
uh, when he went to the dealership, he said, I want you know, this option, this option, this option, and this car has every conceivable option that Pontiac offered that, you know, in the year 1970. So 8-track tape player, uh, air conditioning in a convertible, which was unheard of back then, mm -hmm. uh, factory folding passenger seat. Uh, so yeah, so many uh, options for this car. And the, the dealership actually... Uh, since he was a double amputee, uh, put hand controls on this car uh, so he could drive it. So they charged him $125 uh, on the dealer invoice to put hand controls in this car. That's you amazing. know, they've since been removed because this car has had one repaint. Uh, but yeah, some, some really... That's a great story. Really, really neat stuff. And, uh, you know, how great. Here, let me show you this. So this is just a copy of the original dealer invoice for this car. So now if you look right here, they put hand controls in at a cost of $125. Oh my gosh. But you'll see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen different options in this car. So very rare. And look how much the car cost back in the day, sixty-six hundred dollars. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So one of one. Amazing. So very, very cool. That's an awesome story. You know, Larry, every car has its own story. It does. You know? So, and, uh, and that's, you know, something we like to know, you know? Uh, real deal Dale Earnhardt Sr. IROC car. Senior? Senior, yes. So, uh, yeah, let's take the cover off this. So he really drove this, obviously? He won Talladega in this car. Wow. How did you get your hands on this thing? Why are there two seats in here? I honestly don't know. I honestly do not know. But here, I'll show you this. Come here. Wow. So this is the original paint for this car. And as you can see here, it went through a couple of different colors because not only did, you know, he drive the car, a few other racers drove this car at different times. But when this uh, car was restored, it was restor restored to the original color that he drove it. Uh, Ray Everham actually worked on this car and uh, Dave Marcus. So. Uh, they've authenticated this car for us. So, really neat story. We have video of uh, him winning Talladega in this car. Unbelievable. So, yeah, really, really neat. It's a great color, too. Yeah, you never see these in this color. Dodge Avenger. <laughs> So yeah, really special car. Wow, this one's this one's something else. All right, I see a plethora of motorcycles. Yeah, so you know we have you know your Harleys, your Indians, uh, your Fat Boys, Harley with a sidecar. What the heck is that? Oh, so Rick Fairless Dallas Stroker. So uh, Rick Fairless was. Um, Famous back in the day, uh, he was on yeah. Battle of the Bike Builders, you know, yep. Battle of the Builders on Discovery Channel. Yeah, his name's right. And uh, this is a great story. So we actually found this. Oh, and he signed the, the rear tail right here. He signed oh, yeah, it yeah, right yeah, back yeah. here. So yeah, beautiful psychedelic paint scheme. Uh, the collector found this at a tag sale, believe it or not. Really? Sitting in a garage with a for sale sign on it. And, uh, you know, he thought it was just a, a big dog chopper, you know. And then once we did a little more research to it, uh, found out it was a Rick Fairless Dallas Stroker. So uh, I was very surprised when I found that out. This I was is like, a wow, OCC? Cool. Orange County Chopper, 
Yep. Uh, this bike was custom built for a spin bowl in New York, uh, which is, uh, you know, bowling alley and, you know, arcades and everything like that. So uh, this bike was purchased at a charity auction. This is nuts. Look at the bolts on this. Yeah, this is, um, this is a custom uh, bike that was created by Josh Allison. Josh Allison worked for Orange County Choppers for a number of years. That is pretty sexy. Yeah, and uh, he works for us now. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so the guy uh, who built this bike. The guy who built this bike works for us now. So he's going to be building and uh, heading up all of our chopper builds that we're going to do for people. Because wow. not only do we do cars, we do custom bikes too. My goodness. Yep. <clears throat> All right, so this part, what do we have? I, this looks like it came out of a... Yeah, so this was part of the six cars that we just bought oh, not like too long ago here. for okay. this client. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a uh, 1969 Roadrunner. This thing is awesome. Uh, factory color. four speed, and it's a Hemi. So uh, they only built 194... Hemi four-speed Roadrunners in 1969. So this is one of 194. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Neat. Uh, nice. 59 Cadillac convertible, triple black. This is serious gangster car. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So it's very Godfather like here. Money shot is these torpedo taillights right here. Wow. You know? So yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful car and you know, I just love the the look. As a know? detailer, I go like, <gasps> there's so much this is like four cars worth of paint. Yeah. So much. But man, when this thing is clean. Huge. Absolutely huge. This car's like twenty feet long. Ah, oh, that's a neat car right there. 1955 Pontiac Chieftain. So you look at it, and you would think that it's a Chevy Bel Air. Yeah, that, but that's what I thought it was. No, it's a Pontiac Chieftain. Paint is amazing. It's custom. It has, it has over 100 different body modifications to it. The flames actually go inside the door jams. So they follow the door jams all the way through. How do you even get the door open? Uh, poppers. Like a key fob? A remote control, yep. Yeah, that's definitely, uh, this car, the switches are sweet. This car has definitely won a number of good guy awards, uh, but beautiful, really, really nice. Got your Brute, double cab. Yeah, uh, these are pretty rare, they, uh, AEV. Um, American Expedition vehicles stopped making these when uh, Jeep came out with the uh, the Jeep Gladiators. So uh, to find one of these, this is pretty rare. Custom again, and you know we put remote steps on this just like we did the other one. Uh, the interior is custom. 35-inch tires. Uh, this has, is cool. Has the factory motor in it. A lot of these were switched over to you know Hemi motors, but. This one has the factory six-cylinder motor in it, but this is really cool, neat, neat truck. Mm -hmm. Oh, special car. 2015 Shelby Super Snake Convertible. And... Uh, Signed by Carol Shelby. 4,000 miles on it, I think. 5,000 miles on it. Uh, this car, in 2015, it's reported they only made 300 Super Snakes. And of the 300 it's reported that they only made six convertibles. So this is one of six. Hmm. 850 horsepower supercharged motor. Uh, car's crazy fast. <laughs> so really nice car. Uh, I love this car. I Pretty. dig it. Got the Bentley. Yeah, Bentley uh, Continental Super Sport GT. Uh, what makes this car rare is they only made 710 of these cars worldwide. And this car was actually a market launch car. So uh, when they were launching the GT, they brought this particular car to all the different auto shows to promote it. So uh, 
Yeah. Uh, but very Mind nice you, car. What's that? Ooh, yeah. This car we bought at auction, um, RM auction for the client. And that's another thing that we do too. We provide auction assistance. Uh, if you're interested in any particular car, uh, we'd be happy to, uh, you know, send a representative to, you know, go look at it. Make sure it's, you know, a good car. What is it? This is a 1937 Lincoln Victoria Model K. So... Ah, oh, it smells so good. A uh, very oh, special one. car. So uh, they only made 13 of these cars. And of the 13, this is car number one. And it's reported that there's only four of these cars left in existence. So one of four. This is a senior award winner, SCCA senior award winner. What's in it? Uh, Something very shiny in there. Yes. Um, I, 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 I honestly don't know, you know? Uh, it's been a while since I peeked at this car. This is the greatest hood ornament ever. Oh man, I gotta put that in the front of the con. Sure. <laughs> but I just oh, love V12. like the, it's a V12. the teardrop headlights and everything like that. There you go. You know? But yeah, this is like gangster car. <laughs> All right, and we got a couple more and then... Uh... Yeah, so uh, you know, uh, 32 Roadster, which is neat, uh, very custom. Awesome. Got your Gladiator. Gladiator uh, Porsche 928. That is very cool. Yep. So this is just one. Oh, we forgot one there. That's uh, uh, that's a FJ43 Land Cruiser. That thing is awesome. Uh, so they never produced those for the U.S. market. They only produced them for the South American market. So uh, to find one of those in this country is very rare. Uh, but that has a lot of uh, neat extras four-wheel disc brakes, it's an automatic transmission, they usually come standard, and that has extra seating in the rear, so you can actually fit like six people in it. It's pretty neat. So is this the extent of the collection, or I'm guessing there's other hidden gems somewhere else? Or There are, but this is just one of the buildings, <laughs> yeah. Well, I appreciate you giving me the tour. I know sure. I have to uh, get that one cleaned yep. up, and, and uh, I think that's for sale, yes? That's for sale, okay. absolutely, yep, 100%. Anyways, I appreciate you. Uh, spending a few minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I asked Andy to spend 20, 30 minutes going through the cars. I know you guys were going to ask. Anyways, if you have any questions, you know where to find me, ammonyc.com. Uh, to find you, where? Uh, NorthAmericanMotorCar.com. Awesome. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.